First up is Deborah Metz from Met Council on Housing, and, a, and she's a tenant from Harlem. Her landlord has over a thousand units. Her building is on rent strike, and she lives in a rent regulated apartment. Good morning. Good morning. I want to just say to everyone here, get used to this. This is not one a one-time thing. We will be here as long as we need to be here to get our point across. I represent thousands in Harlem that cannot be here this morning. But I am just a drop in the bucket of the thousands upon thousands of black and brown people who will be affected if this goes forward. The rent relief bill is not enough. The, 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 uh, the housing court, when it does grow, with having the virtual session is not sufficient. Nothing is sufficient. You cannot bleed and turn it. Where do you expect the money to come from? We haven't been working for months. Even if we get back to work now, we cannot make up the months of back rent. There is no logic right now in what they are proposing to be done to fix this housing crisis. We, the back, the working people, are not your answer. You need a bigger solution. And that solution does not come from my sweat. Give me something more than that. I personally thought, like some people that may be watching this from the comfort of their home, I wasn't affected. I still had my job, I could still pay rent, and then the day after I had that thought, I was laid off. Your silence will not protect you. Ultimately, this issue of rent, of overcharging, of ill-maintained buildings has been here before COVID. COVID has only highlighted the disparity that we're experiencing. Yeah. So basically, we will not be silent. We will be here. We will not be silent. Soon we will be the police. We speak for everyone that cannot be here today. Cancel rent. Cancel rent. Cancel rent. moratorium. We're trying to get that passed in the Assembly and the Senate. We need your help. The governor has the power to extend it, an exclusive moratorium on his own. He hasn't heard us. He needs to hear us more. We have a cancel rent bill that says tenants shouldn't be responsible for a government decision to shut down New York. This is not a burden on the tenants. It's government's responsibility to ensure People have the resources to contain, stay in their apartment. Yes, sir. Yeah. The risk to tenants is severe. The risk to New York is severe. The government needs to act. So I stand with you to say the court should not reopen. Yeah. Cancel the rent. Yeah. Let's yeah. protect the vulnerable tenants. Yeah. Together, we can do this. It's such an important time in New York to stand together. I'll fight with you. But we need more support. We need the governor to hear our message. So I plead to you all. 
What we passed the other day in Albany was insufficient. What we said was $100 million, the drop in the bucket. It only keeps people rent burdened, continue to be rent burdened. You have to prove you have some kind of unemployment for so many of our undocumented brothers and sisters that can. It is not what we need for New York. What we need is a real plan. We need to cancel rent. We need an eviction moratorium. We need to ensure we protect all New Yorkers and have a plan going forward. That's the plan I believe in. That's the plan we support. And that's the plan we all should be fighting for. Thank you.